नमस्ते बच्चों हमेशा खुश रहो मैं सेल्फ जी बी डॉक्टर मोनिका त्रिवेदी एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज वी एस ई पी आर थ्योरी वेलेंशाइल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर रिपल्शन थ्योरी सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थ्योरी द शेप ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल इज डिटरमाइंड बाय द रिपल्शन बिटवीन ऑल द इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रजेंट इन द वेलेंस शेल द इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स इन द वेलेंस शेल ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन एटम रिपेल ईच अदर एंड देन सेल्फ टू मिनिमाइज द रिपल्शन ओके सो द लोन पेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन टेक्स अप मोर स्पेस अराउंड द सेंट्रल एटम देन द बोन पेयर द लोन पेयर अट्रैक्टेड to the one nucleus but uh, bond pair is shared by the two nuclei the minimum repulsion to the state minimum energy and the maximum stability of the molecules the repulsion strength is the repulsion strength of lone pair lone pair is maximum then after the lone pair bond pair and the least repulsion strength is uh, on bond pair and bond pair The repulsion strength of a double bond triple bond is uh, like that. The triple bond has a maximum repulsion strength. Then after the double bond and the least repulsion strength is uh, for single bond. The presence of lone pair in the central atom causes the uh, slight distortion of the bond angle from the ideal shape. The magnitude of repulsion between the bonding pairs and of the electron depend on the electronegativity. Uh, difference between the central atom and the other atoms now the uh, how the vesper uh, theory is uh, uh, plays an important role to identify the geometry so to identify the geometry of the central ion it can be used to draw the electron dot structure or a bar diagram uh, to find the arrangement of the electron pairs to find the arrangement of the bonding pairs and to determine the geometry based on the bonding pairs so there are some shapes uh, like uh, the central atom with the two electron pairs okay uh, in this uh, beryllium the electronic conjugation is 1s2 and 2s2 that is that is a linear arrangement with the 180 degree centigrade uh, bond angle 180 degree bond angle and the central atom with three electron pair uh, the structure is a trigonal planar uh, the compound the element boron uh, has a three uh, bond pair uh, three electron pairs and uh, the angle between these is 120 degree and trigonal pair arrangement the next is central atom with four electron pair the structure is the geometry is tetrahedral in this uh, ch uh, ch4 the carbon has a uh, 1s2 2s2 2p2 uh, electronic conjugation with the tetrahedral structure in the bond angle between hydrogen hydrogen is 109.5 degree the next is the central atom uh, with five electron pairs the five electron uh, pairs uh, uh, like in a phosphorus uh, pcl5 uh, it has a electronic conjugation uh, 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p3 with a trigonal bipyramidal structure having a bond angle 120 degree and um, 90 degree the central atom with the six electron pairs uh, like uh, sf Six as a in a SF six the sulfur has a octahedral structure with a ninety degree bond angle. Now some other example of the uh, uh, in presence of the lone pair, uh, you can see in ammonia the tetrahedral structure of it and with the uh, one electron uh, pair uh, present on a nitrogen. So the structure is uh, distorted and the trigonal structure is formed. The next is uh, f- uh, with the four electron pair. The structure will be tra- tetrahedral, and uh, for uh, O two, uh, OH two, uh, for uh, valence shell electron of the oxygen atom is one s two, two s two, and two p two. So the molecular geometry is V shape or a band shape, and the electronic uh, re- uh, pair rearrangement is a tetrahedral. and the repulsion between lone pair lone pair and bond pair bond pair is possible so it is show the slightly uh, distortion from the 109 degree uh, uh, 28 minutes to 104 degree 27 minutes next electron 
central atom with the five electron pairs uh, in like uh, SF4. Uh, you can see here that uh, structure is a uh, square planar and um, after uh, the presence of the lone pair, uh, the you can see the geometry of this uh, element and this uh, molecule is distorted, and the uh, now the geometry is a um, seesaw or a uh, or a distorted octahedral. Okay, and the lone pair bond pair repulsion is present. And the next is central atom with the six electrons pair, like uh, XeF4. Um, having uh, molecular geometry is a square planar and uh, the electron uh, pair rearrangement is uh, octahedral so the lone pair bond pair repulsion in present in this kind of compounds uh, the effect of uh, electronegativity if uh, we can see that the phi electron in a valence shell are present in a like a nitrogen the molecular geometry will be tetrahedral according to uh, electron pair arrangement or a trigonal pyramidal according to Vesper theory. So the presence of the lone pair uh, caused the slightly distortion from 109 degree 28 minute to 107 degree 48 to 102 degree 20 uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so the repulsion between bond pair bond pair is less in NF3 than NH3. So this is the uh, structure of NF3 and NH3. Now here you can see the number of uh, bond pair, lone pair and a number of uh, charge cloud present and these are the uh, geometry and uh, these are some example according to Vesper theory. Okay, so the bond pair uh, of 2 has a linear geometry, the bond pair uh, of 3 and uh, the lone pair 0 has a trigonal planar, the bond pair is 2 and the number of bond pair present 1 is has a bent structure. So these are uh, all the geometries present for the bond pair and lone pair combination and the structure molecular uh, geometry of the this compounds. So, uh, limitation of Vesper theory, it fails to predict the shape of the uh, isoelectronic species like uh, complex species or a transition metal compounds. And uh, this uh, model does not take uh, relevant size of the substituent and unable to explain the atomic orbital overlapping. So, this is all about the Vesper theory. Thank you very much.